Yeah. I you understand? still like, like, like my favorite moment in Twitch history. I think you were there for this, right? My favorite moment in Twitch history was the day the view bots died. Do you remember that? It was like six. Yeah. Was it like and five no or six live. years ago? And no, no, no. It wasn't just that nobody was live. It's that people started to go live. And then we're like, oh, uh, I, I feel I feel sick today. I don't think I can stream today, guys. There were so many big streamers yep. that turned their shit on. T Masan, I remember from Hearthstone, was like a five-figure streamer. He had like, I think like a thousand viewers. And he was like, yep. oh, I'm feeling sick today, guys. Oh my God, there were so many streamers. Um, yeah. Yeah, holy shit, that was, bro. bro, that was the funniest it's fucking day in the world. A lot of flus it's, that day. A lot, of, a lot of one and two yeah. day flus. Yep, it's 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 bad, bro. It's really fucking bad. Mm -hmm. And the worst part is, man, like, you know, it, it feels like people are getting rewarded from it. Yeah, like it, it's almost as if they're being incentivized to do it, and it just like it's such a shitty feeling. You know, like I wouldn't care if it wasn't affecting me. I wouldn't care. I would just do my own thing. I know, you know, my shit's good. But it's getting to a point now in this industry where it's affecting my business, right? Because if you have five people that are my size mm -hmm. around and you have people who don't understand what you and I might understand being in the industry so long, right? About, you know, numbers and, you know, community strength, conversions, right? Because people with view, view bots don't have these things. Mm -hmm. They just have the number that, and, and they have nothing behind it. So it's like the people who don't understand that, they start equating your number with their number but their number is all bullshit so that's when it starts coming into my business and affecting my business and that's why i care about it now so much because it's just like what the fuck yeah the problem with bad behavior is that oftentimes it gets socially reinforced and unfortunately sometimes there are social punishments for not following it so like for instance like so i'll be really critical about girls using a lot of filters on instagram and shit or you know wearing a fuck ton of makeup or plastic surgery right um however it's easy for me to be critical of that but if girls don't do that um oftentimes you get a lot of negative feedback because you're not doing what everybody else is so yeah there'll be like these social reinforcements that kind of encourage everybody yeah. to do the shitty behavior because like do you want to be the one person not view botting and be the loser with like the low audience and shit um yeah it just it's yeah it sucks yeah, that argument, that, that last part you just said, you want to be the loser that's not. Yeah. I feel that because I'm sitting there, right? Like, for example, me, right? You know, when I'm sitting there with 12 to 14K viewers on kick, like, I know, I know deep down, I'm one of the two largest creators in the platform, right? Like, I know it. But then when I, you know, go outside of myself and I look at the sidebar and it looks like I'm the 20th largest creator. Yeah, it does kind of feel like shit knowing that I grind and I put in the work and I have a real 14K versus everyone else's fake 30K, right? Mm -hmm. But the people that I see everyone's going after, I'm telling you they are normal people and they're clumping them up with the actual extremists and the hateful people. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I know. This conversation can go for a lot longer, but I feel bad because I know you want your tacos and they're closing soon. But like... I, I know, I understand what you're saying. I think we have like some like minor disagreements and it would be interesting to flesh them out, but I don't want you to not have your tacos. <laughs> well, thank you for being considerate. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely talk again. I mean, we, we keep running running into each other and having these conversations, so I'm sure we'll do it again. Yeah, I love you guys. Conversations. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Pixie. It was great talking to you. And uh, Alex, right? That's your name? Yeah, Alex. I'm going to say straight up, bro. I hope I don't make you, how old are you actually? I'm 26. Okay, perfect. I hope I don't make you uncomfortable with this, bro. You're, you're a cute guy. Thank you're you, a cute brothers. Guy, bro. I, I like your look. It's very, uh, there's something very, you know, you're just a cute guy. I like it. Hey, we're related. Like, we're related. Nice. Hey, go, it runs in the family. It runs in the family. We're, we're right? not related. We're, we are related by we blood. We're just roommates. <laughs> we're roommates by blood. All right, much All love. Right. Go get love those tacos, peace, bro. Peace, 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 peace. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, something I was Fuck actually that gonna, guy. <laughs> something I was actually going to say to you oh. about the, uh, the point. Uh, wait, wait, pixie. wait, real quick, before you go there, do you want to go to Xena's Discord and talk to Xena and, um... No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna be done. Um, uh, I'm gonna have a thing if Pixie wants to stay here for a second. Well, what I was...